So on today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google My Business effectively. We're going to look at some regular things you can do that's going to really make it grow on a gradual basis, but one that's going to be very powerful over time. So thank you for joining me and I look forward now to sharing some of these tips with you. I've written down some tips, so you're going to benefit from just a few things I've jotted down that I would say you need to do on a regular basis if you want to improve your business. I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I use my 20 years of experience to help you grow your business. So thank you for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss my next video. Now, particularly you'll notice that Google My Business at the moment is being featured on a lot of my videos because it really does help small businesses. And there's lots of proof to show that while you continue to regularly update your Google My Business location and your listing, then you'll see growing benefits in the coming months for your business. You'll get more inquiries, which obviously helps improve your local business too. So let's just for a moment then consider some of the things I've written down here. So I've just jotted down some notes. I'm just going to go through with you. So we'll just see how this pans out. But one of the things I just wrote down at the beginning was that it can feel quite painful sometimes having to keep going to your Google My Business and updating it, writing posts and offers and so on. But it came to mind just a story I heard a few years ago that a person was was basically digging a hole. And as they dug the hole, it maybe was even perhaps a hot day. It was breaking their back. But the motivation behind it can make a difference to how you feel about digging a hole. Was that person viewing it as a chore or an opportunity? I've just jotted down here that if he was just digging a hole and it was just a hole and he didn't know why he was doing it, then it would have been a chore. It would have been a pain. It served no purpose. And sometimes with Google My Business, you can just feel like, why am I doing all these things? I'm not seeing any benefit. I'm not seeing any purpose behind it. But I've also put down here, another person may see it as an opportunity if they understand why they're doing it. Now, this person digging the hole actually was digging the initial foundations of the new local hospital. So you imagine he could have in mind that this hospital will serve so many people in the future and benefit them. So digging the hole, rather than being a grudge or a pain, it was an opportunity. It was almost a pleasure to be involved in doing such a thing. So let's just use that to help us to view some of these things we're going to look at together now, because they might appear to be painful at first, but if you bear in mind where this could lead your business in six months time or three months time, you'll see that you're really engaging from today onwards an opportunity to improve your business if you follow these things. So what are some of the things then that I would recommend you to do? I just jotted down literally in two minutes before this video. So the first thing really would be to complete your profile. So Google My Business, you've got a profile, you'll no doubt have on there a, a percentage. So when you first enter it and you've then, um, you've verified it with Google, it will now say there's a percentage of how much you've completed. So maybe it says 30%, 60%, 70%. As you start to add more and more things and you start filling in all the various things that Google want you to do, this is just the basic stuff as well. You'll gradually get it to a point where it's 90%, then 100%. So that would be my first thing to do is before you start doing anything else and optimizing Google My Business, make sure that your profile is filled out 100% and that it's completed as far as Google would expect for a basic business listing. That's the first thing I've got down here. Now, the second thing I've got down here is then when you consider that you need to add your logo, but have a high quality logo, maybe my advice would be also to geotag that image before you upload it. Uh, if you want to know about geotagging, then you'll notice in my videos, I've got a video there about geotagging and how to improve how uh, the location is related to your business via images. So I've got here, um, add the logo. Add, um, if you've got staff as well, then take some photos of staff and add those as well. And my suggestion would be just to upload two or three images a week. Make sure that they're geotagged. I've mentioned on a previous video, make sure that maybe even your logo is located within the image itself. But if you've got interesting images regarding your products and your services, 
upload those as well. And aim for 100 images within the first month or two. So if you did two or three every week, within a few months, get up to about 100 images. And now Google will start to really bring in traffic for you because images bring in traffic. They're, they're found in search results as well. And I found that one of the, the greatest ways to get traffic to my Google My Business um, listing is to keep adding images. So you can do that for adding posts as well, which we'll come on to as the next thing. So adding logos, uh, completing the Google My Business profile, those are the first two things. Uh, a third thing to consider is uh, adding posts on a regular basis. So what does that mean? Um, well, basically there are different types of posts. So again, I've covered some of these in my videos. Um, I've recently uploaded one to do with uh, putting out offers. And the advantage of having an offer is you can have it last for a month or two. Whereas when you just add a what's new post, it tends to last only for seven days. So you need to at least once or twice a week update your what's new so that it's always something fresh. Make sure the keywords are used. So if you're, if you're say, into video production, then make sure you talk about video production in the title and in the first sentence or two of the what's new or the special offer. But there's also things like producing monthly events, um, making sure your products are up to date as well, those things as well. So there's about four different types of post types. Try and use all four uh, at least once every couple of weeks. And uh, then you'll find that that, again, might feel like you're digging a hole, but remember where it's going to lead to. It's going to lead to a lot of inquiries if you keep that going on a regular basis. I've also written down to keep up to date uh, with the latest SEO. Um, and I don't like SEO in the word search engine optimization. For me, it's about optimizing it for your customers. And if you can optimize your website and your Google My Business for your customers, then you'll find that in effect is the most effective SEO you can do. So it's more a case of just being aware of the fact that Google continues to uh, increase the amount of things you can do with Google My Business so you might have filled it all in. You might have covered some of the things we've done already, but you'll notice they're always adding new things. At the moment, uh, you can have a carousel of, of images. So like a gallery of images now, that came out just a week or so ago. You'll find that the way categories are handled is changing. Uh, you'll notice there's lots of changes and updates each day. There might be something different. Now, if you never go on there, you never log on, then you'll never know what these advantages are. And of course, as soon as there's a new feature, if you then use that feature, you've immediately put uh, some kind of nitro engine fuel into your business and it's going to push you ahead of the competition because you've got something that no one else has got. And Google wants you to have it because that's why they've just released it. So working in that way will certainly benefit. Now, if you want to know what the new features are, then as soon as there's a new feature, then I'll release it on my video channel. So if you haven't subscribed below already, then make sure you do. If you press the alert button, it will keep you immediately updated as soon as there's something new on Google My Business. So that would be my next handy tip. And finally as well, uh, checking your NAP. So uh, I talk about checking your NAP or NAP. It stands for name um, and address and uh, phone. And it's just really about the details. So like I did a review recently on a company and it uses the, the words, instead of company, it says CNY. Or I fell into the same trap myself where I did an update one day and rather than putting R-O-A-D for road, I put R-D, which is kind of established as, as an abbreviation for road. And you might feel it's finicky, but Google sees those two. So whether you're King's Road or whether you're King's R-D, they're two addresses as far as Google's concerned. So check your NAP, make sure that everything you have on your Google My Business is exactly the same as what you have in your, um, your website. And it's the same as what you have on your Yale.com, your Yelp, uh, your Bing, and so on. So there's a few other little tips. I'm just, these are just on the top of my head, okay? So if you go to Bing, I'm gonna do a video on this soon. You can update, uh, you can actually um, import all your information from Google My Business into Bing. So I'm going to do a video on that. So that's one thing to look out for. Another thing as well, it's just come out this week. Google has um, now started to show above its um, results. So where you have the, the, uh, the three pack results for Google My Business in the map results, above that now you have um, Yellow Pages, you have Bing, you have Facebook, any of the citations, they're beginning to appear 
in kind of the zero spot at the moment, just below where the adverts are. So again, I'm going to show a video on that very soon. So there's loads of things happening all the time. So make sure you do subscribe because those things then obviously will be coming out very quickly on my video channel. But I think that's it really. I've got here um, the importance of citations. So catch up with citations if you want. Um, but yeah, there you go. So is it digging a hole with a purpose? Well, I'd like to think that in three months, six months time, you'll find that if you follow these things, you'll see a dramatic improvement in the amount of traffic and inquiries you get for your business. So thank you again for joining me. And I look forward to sharing one of these videos that's with me now that will be chosen by Google uh, to fit your needs. Thanks.